Welcome everybody to episode 2 of the best Apple Watch apps, the series where every single month I'll show you the most useful apps for you to take the full potential of your Apple Watch. Let's start everything off with Hi Coffee. Now this app is obviously for the coffee lovers. There's a bunch of things that it actually does that is really, really useful. First off, it lets you log in your coffee. So for example, I just had a coffee um, at, it also lets you change the time as you can see. So at 12, more or less like 12, 13, I drank a coffee. You can change the size of your coffee. You can press add. So as you can see, I just logged the coffee. There's a couple things that are really useful about it. First off, it lets you know your current level of, of caffeine. So I'm currently at 189. I'm currently in a medium right now. I mean, it's currently one o'clock, so that's good. How your metabolism is taking your caffeine level. You've also got this feature right here, bedtime. So it will let you know if drinking a coffee at like 6 or 7 p.m. could risk your sleep quality, which is super cool. I'm currently at a 42, but as the day goes by, and if I want to drink a coffee at like 6 p.m., it will tell you, hey, you should probably not do that. It also gives you a bunch of stats and how your last seven days have been. There's also some really useful complications for your watch face from your bedtime caffeine level, current caffeine level, current total bedtime, daily caffeine intake. Let's add this one right here. And the actual complications are quite stunning. This is the one right here on the top left. And you've also got some circular complications as well, such as these ones right here. I like this one right here. This is the one that I currently have. So as I just look at my watch, look at the time, I'll actually know my current caffeine intake as the date goes by. I love the iPhone version of high coffee as well. As you can see, there's a beautiful widget that lets me know, you know, the caffeine intake once again. And the app is pretty well designed on the iPhone itself. You've got this little sleep bar so the more balls there are, you know, the less caffeine that you should actually drink. You've got different graphics, your drinks of the day, how much logging you've actually done, your charts. There's actually a ranking and it gives you medals, different beverages that you can actually add. It also syncs up with Apple Health. So as you can see, sync to health with your caffeine content and your water content. So opening Apple Health, it will let me know as well, everything that logs into the actual app, but to Apple Health. It will also give you different Apple Watch faces to for you to take full potential of the app itself. There's some that are really well designed. I really like this one right here. You can also customize the app icons if you want a different color or a different logo, your widget style. So if you want it dark, pure black, darkening, you can customize a bunch of things. App is really well done. Next up on the list is motivation. Now this app is extremely simple and its purpose is even more simple. It basically gives you motivating quotes. And my favorite thing about it is that it will actually send you notifications through your day to make your day a little bit better or to motivate you a little bit more through your day. The Apple Watch app itself is super simple to use. You simply tap and it will give you a new quote. If you like a specific quote, you can save it or you can even share it with your friends just by tapping on the message. There's also complications for your watch face. So just by tapping on motivation, well, the complication is quite simple. Just by raising up your wrist, you'll have different motivational quotes throughout your day, which is pretty cool. The iPhone app looks really simple to the iPhone, but you can actually customize, well, what type of quotes do you want to be sent? Do you want love quotes? Do you want business quotes, etc.? Or you can also do it based on your mood because it actually syncs to Apple Health, which is pretty cool. And this right here, you've got a bunch of different themes going on. Well, this is a paid feature, but check this out. These are free today. You actually customize the way that the app looks, which is sick. You also got different widgets on the iPhone. So right on your home screen, you can add a widget right here and you can add it right here. So every time you open your iPhone, you'll see a quote every single day. Next up on the list is Focus. Now this app is extremely useful for students or for people who work at home or for people who have a tough time focusing. The app is very simple. It's basically like a Pomodoro timer. So as you can see, it will actually serve as a Pomodoro technique. 25 minutes um, studying, five minutes rest, etc. So as you're typing on your computer or as you're studying, having it on your watch is extremely simple to actually have that timer going. You've got different options for the actual timers themselves and it will actually let you know how much time you've actually focused today. You've also got a complication to just tap and open the app right away, or this one, which is personally my favorite, the timer itself to see how you're actually going. And as you can see, the time is actually ticking directly on the watch face, which is pretty neat. Focus on the iPhone actually does something very interesting, which is the strict mode right here, which you basically flip your phone, and if you flip it back, it will tell you, hey, Go back to studying, which is cool. You've got different timer modes. You've got a full screen view. So if you just want the time um, or the timer itself, you've also got different white notes for you to focus. The app also lives inside of the dynamic island, as you can see. So while you're using your phone, you'll see the timer up here on the top. It's a great app 
for you to focus. It ends up just being that. Now the activity app and the workout app from Apple are great, but another alternative that is actually super interesting is Gender Streak. It basically helps you to be more gentle with all of your workouts and that having a rest day is okay sometimes. So as you can see, it actually tells you, you are spot on to continue the feel good, follow your activity path. It recommends you to start a workout with actually five different workout suggestions, an outdoor walk, as you can see, here's the gender like bar. Um, You've got an outdoor cycle, you've got soccer. Now these recommendations are actually personalized to you. So the app already knows that I love doing outdoor walks, outdoor cycle, it knows that I like soccer, it likes that I know swimming, and rest day. You know, when you are tired, rest. It's okay to rest sometimes. I feel like most apps out there are like pushing so hard, you know, to work out, to go crazy. Well, this app is like, it's basically like a more chilled out version that most activity trackers. You can actually start a workout directly on your watch. So as you can see, outdoor walk, I am now starting a workout and you can do this directly within the gender streak app, which is pretty cool. You can actually use the action button on your Apple watch ultra to pause or you know, continue a workout, which is pretty cool. Here's the design of the actual workout itself. You've got your gender bar right here. Here's your phases. And if you go on the right, you've got your music as well. Using the digital crown, you can actually view different um, viewing modes for your workouts, which is cool. You can actually water lock the app itself, which is pretty cool. This is only available if you're swimming within Apple's workout app. Well, let's say you're running and you wanna lock it because it's raining a lot. Well, you could actually do that right there. You can pause. Or if you want to end the workout, well, you simply hold it instead of tapping. It's very different and I actually like it a lot. Consistency is key, Nikki. Yes. So you can see, I don't know. I like the way that it motivates you. I like the visuals of it. It's a very well designed, and very well thought out Apple Watch app. And Jailer Streak on the iPhone is where the app truly shines. You've got so much to get excited about. You've got different meal plans. You've got all of your latest activities right here. You've got a specific area for your well being, your resting heart rate, a bunch of data over there different activities that you've done and the duration and a bunch of graphics, which look absolutely stunning. And you've also got recaps. This is what I like about it a lot because it will actually give you a recap of your entire month. So you can see this was my July, 2023, 26 days. I did nine activities, six hours of duration. It will actually give you interesting facts about timing. And like in 2010, this happened with this amount of time, which is cool. Um, energy, you've burned this amount of calories and food language, it means this. I don't know, it's kind of fun. You wanna see something that's very cool? If I actually start a workout on my Apple Watch, let's say an outdoor walk, look what happens to the eye. As you can see, we get a live activity of our workout. Same thing that's going on with watchOS 10 and the outdoor cycling feature that's brand new, but for every single workout. So we'll actually mirror whatever's going on in the watch on the iPhone, which is amazing. And then if you wanna end the workout, you can simply tap the X and it will stop it just like on the watch. Every single month, I also try to show you a little stupid game for your Apple Watch, which they're not the most crazy games to check out on your watch, but they're always so fun to check out. Meet Touch Round, and it's basically a racing game on your Apple Watch. You basically use the digital crown to, you know, try to race. You've got different modes. You basically turn the digital crown to, you know, try to win the game. It's definitely not easy to play, but it's so fun because you use the digital crown to actually navigate your car. You've got the kilometers per hour, your gear, and your time up on the right. It's not an easy game to play. It definitely takes a lot of time to get used to, but it's definitely a game that I wanted to show you. It's a lot of fun. Let me know what game I should check out on the upcoming Apple Watch apps and what apps I should check out for the upcoming episode. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one. Peace.